Talton, myself, Jimmy Hall, uh, Randall Bramlett. Um, then we have Bonnie Bramlett coming in uh, as a guest. We have Marcus King. And there's a, a list about this long. Chuck Lavelle, the man behind tonight's Capricorn Revival concert, a celebration of the artists who made music at the historic Capricorn Studios. We've been covering the journey to the reopening, and tonight the celebration closes with a big concert. Capricorn alumni, some of music's biggest names, and Southern rock fans traveling from near and far to celebrate Capricorn Studios' legacy. Sarah Hamlin was inside tonight's concert. She joins us live now from the Macon City Auditorium. Yeah, based on what I'm hearing inside, they're playing an encore right now, which you can probably actually hear going on behind me. And people have slowly started to trickle out after listening to three hours of music. And I spoke to three big music fans before the concert who said they've been waiting for this for a long time. Excited to be here. Connor Henderson, along with hundreds of other music fans, lined up an hour before the show at the City Auditorium. Yeah, I love uh, Brent Cobb, Marcus King, kind of standouts, um, and just seeing great music being brought back to life. Milton Willis says the Allman Brothers will always be his favorite. First time I heard the Allman Brothers was in 1969, and I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Earlier in the day, Chapel Jackson toured the revitalized Capricorn Studios, but said she couldn't wait to see some of her favorites. And seeing the collaborations on stage, um, I always love seeing Lamar Williams Jr. I'm excited to see Marcus King. Um, yeah, everyone. I'm just we're really, really thrilled that this is happening. She and Willis have had their tickets for a while. They were sold out, I think, the first day. But Henderson thought he wouldn't be able to get in. Actually, kind of a last minute deal. It's one of those that sold out so quick. I was really bummed out, didn't think we'd be able to come and then got really lucky that a few tickets came up last minute. And all three say the Capricorn Studios revival is something special here in Macon. Macon is in a, a really great position to move forward and, and kind of become a, a name, uh, a household name again. Yeah, it's been a day full of music here in Macon. And if you want to take a look back at all of our coverage over the last few days, including a tour inside the studio itself, you can visit our website at 13WMAZ.com. Live in Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, it looks like a night of fun, Sarah. Thanks very much. The lineup for the concert was hand-picked by Chuck Lavelle, along with Wes Griffith, president of Creek Media and the Moonhanger Group.